<laughs> yeah, you say win, I'm like, I don't know. Not, well, we'll, yeah, not with the, that not with the Gnar. I meant with, like, the Vayne or, or like, the Luzu. Oh, yeah, yeah, with the Gnar, it's like... Uh... But Pilshik just gonna be fine to, to take the popcorn chicken. And go for yeah, pre-planned or not, I mean, it is gonna work out that way as we do see oh, the old committed. <laughs> he card. is so dead. Oh man, he was just have been preparing the Gnar, obviously, and picking it a lot. I mean, he might just die again. They're diving him here. In comes the TF. The, t the TP comes in, and that Zoe is going to have enough help, it looks like, from the, the turret. Although Fly wants to go for more. They're going to continue to him out. Yeah, with the Rift Herald coming in here, you can see Sulka is desperately trying to poke them down, but I'm not sure if it's going to be enough. The Flash comes in with the hook shot, and they are going to take it down. That is just two kills, essentially, for free once again, and that is going to be the turret as well at 12 minutes into the game. Well, it makes you wonder if... Ganks on the first Destiny. It was a very clean gank. That lane is pretty much done. You're not really going to save it. It, it seems just like kind of bad. desperate. Wait. <laughs> That's Nick cool that I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> this is just... He's just dead again, man. This is so sad. That's essentially free. It's free money right now for a free gun. They're farming it well. Um, and now they're going to rotate down on the bottom side. They also have uh, pressure down here as Keen does teleport down. It looks like Becca looking to set it up. Nice flash in, but he actually gets body slammed and will be denied some of that potential for a follow-up catch. But a nice little route here onto the Olaf. He should go down. Here comes Pioshik trying to time. TF pushing mid, getting some turret damage done. Not half bad. Yeah, I mean, I wonder if you can try to get more here. His lens oh, is what? super <laughs> aggro right over the wall, but I don't know if this was the right play. <laughs> Yeah, this is, uh, this is very lands. <laughs> he's just, you know, he's gone on an expedition here. Uh, yeah, Camille doesn't have to He moves one. into him. The body slam wasn't going to connect unless he moved closer. Uh-oh. Destiny. Oh. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the fourth step. And gave Afrika everything they wanted in terms of how to roam around this map and terrorize. Up just fine. He's got his Gale Force online. Okay. Fly. And okay, they're gonna go for a dive here. Fly. Uh, well, <laughs> he's you know he's gonna give some back, a little bit of charity there. Just saying. And you know, if you look at the side lane right now, actually, Dread, it's a ways away. Go back in the top lane and give it up. <laughs> They're like whatever. We get a stun from the back line, so it's just a terrifying uh, one three one comp to deal. Pushes four v three, five v three. Those are some of the ways yeah. to try to come back in. You know, they they it's not enough, up. right? They need to commit <laughs> further, yeah. right? Like they have to chase further. Otherwise, uh oh, lost a bot turret. That opens up. It's just gonna put even more pressure in. It'll be interesting. As Lens is uh, interesting position there. He's got a target on his back now, but immediately coming over the wall. Here comes that Camille super fed. Has the stopwatch as well. They're just able to play front to back. King and finally makes his way in. Actually does a nice amount of damage up on the top side, but the rest of his team is kind of just dead here. You can see that Solka desperately trying to... Time. Derek's needed to be more aggressive Ooh. here. <laughs> well, they're going to try to get that one. And here we go. They found... Five members of Afrika, and they want a fight. It looks like they're going to get on top of this Olaf, who actually does she do has nice so much disruption. Becca's on the side to make sure that he doesn't have the perfect angle. There's the cask. Keen is zoning out the Alistair. The smite will come in. No jungle here for the side of Afrika. Gragas may be going a little bit too far as Kingen gets a huge ultimate in the front line, and that is going to be a triple kill for the Graves. In doing so, he put himself out of position yet again. He's the first to fall, and things just collapse very quickly underneath the feet of Afrika on that Baron, and suddenly the map is open. Zoe's in the side lane. The mid push is real. Here towards this inhibitor turret, and sure, top is. And Afrika haven't really been playing their game. You know, they haven't been committing to the split. You could, you could make an argument for that, but I mean, it's just, it's just not realistic at this stage. And they're just trying to keep their inhibitors alive here, frantically as Baron Buff times out. Twenty seconds to go on that, and DRX, like, they want to force the issue here in a straight up five v five fight once again. And Kingen, look at the flank. Yeah, he's just able to zone them all off whilst also taking this mid inhibitor. So, very effective job with just one that has the the super minions, so that they can, uh, you know, try to push out the lane. Sent everyone else to this bot lane, the last remaining inhibitor. So they did not uh, even chase that side lane. They're gonna force a teleport here, but the inhibitor's already down. Oh, they want the win. Why? 
Fly is just, I think he's just dead here. Hopping in, the Boomerang is going to get the job done. And Keen, incredibly strong though, on the back line, is going to get that Guardian Angel down. Now he's trying to get on top of Becca, not quite able to do so. But still, he is trying to go 1v2. He's trying to distract as much as possible. But his team is also dying. And I think that's just going to do it as he goes down as well. DRX have figured out Afrika, and they will take game number one. What a turnaround. Finally grouping for fights. Finally starting to force those on the objectives, not letting that 1-3-1 pop roll them over. They, they immediately turn it around, and Lulu is going to be the choice here. Okay, so, uh, you know, DRX bringing out all... In terms of actually securing kills here for DRX in the top lane, because Violet Hen is now in... It's actually, uh, Lehen's not realizing Kyoshik is so nearby, he's so gonna have to pop hold. Uh, Lehen's? Tr yeah. Trying to get on top of Kyoshik here. We do have Dread coming in, and now DRX are in full retreat mode. Olaf, though, going forward. They're gonna catch Becca, but a really nice wild growth to keep him alive for just a bit longer, but he does go down to Keen, who does make his way in, and now Solka rooted down for a little bit too long. That's gonna be a double kill going the way of a- Yeah, uh, definitely a good start for them to kind of get ahead of this <laughs> did not did not have it there as he tried to you know stop the steal on the blue buff there oh look at the charm <laughs> as the charm just come down okay they're gonna turn this one around onto bang he takes an extra turret shot and has to <laughs> just get uh first turret here first brick is you know it's been yeah. called in the past and it's a huge win for them in the temple of uh, but now we have born from the top side looking to get things going to flash over the wall as he is really desperately trying to get the spike going and now becca kind of left in no man's land here gets his shield up but i think he might just be slowed down and taken to the death chamber as a really nice ultimate comes in as well as the samira to follow up and drx are just being chipped down one by one as they don't they're not worried about anything in fact he's just going to back off look at the control wards around the drake as well four control wards as they push this rift herald mid and Bao's just trying to do what he can to Infernal Soul from coming online. They can't stop this Drake, but well, they're not going to have an option in five minutes. Fly may actually uh -oh. find himself falling here. Yeah, he's going to get bubbled up, but the rest of the team comes out of the jungle as Jonah Strong keeping it a secret from us. I like it. I like the hype. Here comes this gigantic Olaf, but a, a block onto the Orn ultimate is just not going to matter anyway. They have way too much damage. The triple kill comes in here for Bang. A little bit overzealous to try to push for that, but they do have a lot of good vision coverage. They are going to get this turret and push the That does come out, although Afrika just say, okay, we'll just push mid. Yeah. No problem here. Being his choice, he has very little survivability outside of his vault. <laughs> okay, that's just going to be a massive shockwave that comes in. They're trying to turn it here on a bang. Obviously, they have a lot of damage, but Bao moving forward now is just going to essentially say, take me with you, Afrika, please. As, uh, man, Fly just comes in with a teleport and says, hello, friends. <laughs> uh, you know, have a sombrero. This is going to be a nice one. Yeah. Actually on his head, but either way, Pioshik, they're just kind of... Running him down here, Dread has insane survivability with the items that he does have. The Gore Drinker and the Sterics already. Kingen, the only one to get out alive, but uh, DRX will not be getting out I mean, how, ma how many... They are very skirmishy. You know, they have a lot of mobility. You can try to poke down here, even from behind, as Solka just blows Lahens up. He is so incredibly low, he's going to have to flash away. And this is not the fight they were looking for. This is how you get Bane power in this one as the ult is going to sail wide and at the end of the day well the only power that Val has now is in his death and uh and they're going to try to steal this baron away Soka's trying to snipe it but way too risky uh, but i mean what you can't blame him for that the game was <laughs> over a while ago so chowing down on some popcorn chicken <laughs> towards the end of that as okay bang uh what's going on here you seem to have a lot of friends. And he's a very nice guy. Someone side laning. The first time, obviously, we had that massive rotation for the rest of Africa ended up playing badly. But this time, able to find some interesting angles to pick people sure. off here and there. So that just, you know, that games them 30 seconds each time. And if you do that, you know, five, six more times, certainly is a chance. And, I mean, Whoa. one more fight here. Solka in a little bit of trouble. He pops forward, and he does not have Flash. He is going to have that stopwatch. You can see the charm comes in. A huge knock-up from the side of the Orn, and that is just about going to do it. As Pioshik has nowhere to run, just going to get ulted down. Kingen as well. 
just going to try to delay some time and actually might be successful in that as Fly. He knows the game is over. He wants the kill. Will he get it, though? That's the question. He is just trying to zoom away. But, uh... All right, well, all right. spotted. Good play. Oh, trying to... Oh, oh, oh. Ace! <laughs> I, love, I love the delayed ace <laughs> Production's just waiting to hit that button, and they got to do it there at the end. And uh, Afrika certainly pressed their buttons pretty well in this game. 19 to 2. In 30 minutes, a slaughter fest to the side of Afrika. Really one sided, nicely done, and they will bring Set us down there to threaten. We do see Aatrox, long time no see here for Keen in the top lane, an old favorite. And this trap uh, is. You hop over the wall? No. Oh, he's gonna get it though. He's gonna get the hop as well. He gets over the wall here, and now Dread might just die. He has to flash away. And Nimbus Cloak might just save his life. But nope, you're up against a. Not gonna do so. Very. Gonna push him out of the lane. Yeah, very much, I think, just a little bit too low on the damage to actually secure the kill. But they are looking for these plates here right before the 14 minute mark. Uh, guys, the Kindred is insanely fast. <laughs> you gotta be careful. As, uh, down goes the Lambs for Spite, though. As that was a little bit too early. Still gonna go down as Solka coming in, and now there's that play you were looking for from the side of Becca. They're trying to do some damage here to Keen, and they will eventually take him out as Fly goes down. They are able to get the turret plates right before those fall off, and the fourteen hundred into a wonky spot. You know, and able to pick up that kill. An interesting build here for on the bot side, meanwhile. And, you know, they get the top turret. I don't think it is so far away that, uh, I mean, this is eventually going to go down here, but... They want to get in here, but flying, actually, in an awkward spot there. Forced to flash away King, and that was a little bit interesting, as Keen has the massive flank coming in here from behind. Can he get any support? He's going to have a lot of health, at least. A nice cask. Forces the flash away, and Becca's gonna get sniped on the top side of the map as he was kind of left for DRX, but a fairly unnecessary fight and engage without vision. The fight, uh, oh, unless. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna. Have to, uh, he's like, I'm just gonna have to stop you there. Um, Dred's like, I haven't done any damage to champions. However, <laughs> Fly is gonna get out of here. It looks like. No, oh, they're diving. They're looking for this. They get the slow. They're trying to. Pull out that damage oh, that uh, Solka just barely is going to survive as the last shot comes in here. Just one step closer to the soul. Not going to get the root, but look for the charm. Whoa, that is really big. They're going to get that kill onto Lahens immediately. We still have Lambs for Spite here, so they can just fight front to back. A huge engage from Becca making the big play. This time around, Keen is unbelievably tanky. Nice follow-up from Keen, and then finally we have the Kai'Sa entering the fight, doing that damage in the back line. Going to be able to take down everybody. Fly does get the kill eventually onto Pyoshi, but that Well, she's very squishy, right? And... In this situation, when Lahenz looks for the engage, he doesn't hit the root and just commits to the charm and is just blown up instantly. The rest of the Freak of Freaks don't have a way to really force the issue, uh, especially with yeah. this mid push is pretty terrifying. You can see that King in his side landing here against Keen, and we're starting to see the first signs of potentially the base being broken. So that pops forward. <laughs> you wanna you wanna try to aim it at the back side of that one, but Pioshik. Having Kaisa some is pretty low range, so they're more so of a, of a hard engage comp, if you will, getting the Kaisa in the back line. And speaking of which, we do have the cask of us right now. Uh, lots of plants, I suppose. The, uh, the gardening has been going well. Keen just wanders into the jungle by himself, or was it just an elaborate bait all along? This this Aatrox, incredibly tanky and has so much sustain. The, the range, I mean, he's, he's past seven marks now. He's up to eight. And we saw him dash oh. over the wall, so they're like, okay, uh, sure, <laughs> we'll just push down mid. We have this we have this wave coming in, and uh, thank you very much. All DRX have to do is, and then eventually the map belongs to them. Oh. This is the last risky place they'll be. Oh, they get the charm on the Kindred! Can they burn him down? No, they can't quite get the kill. And they're going to look to turn this one around. Becca in the front line just gets burst to smithereens. I'm not sure about that play going full-on Rambo mode into the back line, and now everybody on the side of DRX is just on the run. Remember Solka? We were talking about him. He's super fed. He's going to have some free damage here on the Escape King and with some fancy feet there. <laughs> and I'm still right either way, but he's just going to rush it down so fast. His team right there ready to support him. 
as Keen, once again, you know, looking for those Oh, he's caught! Really nice cask, and can they actually burst him down? They're gonna get the Guardian Angel out of him immediately before this fight even begins. There's the body slam, and there goes down Keen! There's a no way to massive find it. A push to end this series. Yeah, and they might just be able to do it. I mean, they have the waves coming in here. As you mentioned, no Baron, but they have so much range and potential with this Kindred just using King in the front line. A massive shockwave. They're going to get the kill on the enemy jungler, and now they have their sights set on this Nexus. They want to stick the landing here. Curtain calls out temporarily. Oh, King in. He does it again. A really nice engage here once again. And now Bao looking for the kill onto Bang. Not going to get it, but they get the rest of it. And it looks like DRX have actually done it here in three games. Down to 39 minutes in the last one. They finally take down that Nexus. And a pretty huge performance from the 